Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you all how to set a buy and sell limit on Robinhood for your cryptocurrency trades. This is going to be very handy for all y'all that want to do kind of like a day trading thing where when it goes up 5, 10 cent, you're going to sell and make a profit. And with the buy and sell limit, you're going to be able to buy it. Say, say we're selling Doge. We're going to buy it at 30 cent. We're going to sell it at 40. Why not? Let's go ahead and actually execute that example because I have some Doge that I bought at 30 cent. And it's about 41 cent right now, so let's go ahead and sell it. Perfect example, right? Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, all investing is always a risk. So I'm not a professional, and don't take my advice if you don't believe what I say. It's just how it is. Investing in stocks or cryptocurrency is just a gamble. You never know if you're going to win or lose. It's all about strategy and timing. Hey, guys, what's going on? So here we're in my Robin Hood, and I have $50 currently. Right now, it's invested in Doge, and as you can see, the market's fluctuating up and down, but a couple days ago, I bought in at $0.30. Cent. So, let's go ahead and look at the chart really quick. So, here's the chart. You're going to see I'm at it's at $0.41 cent right now. I bought it at 30 on the average share cost, 31 So, we're about $0.10 cent profit. So, we're going to go ahead and sell these. I have 97 currently. Now keep that in mind, 97. So we're going to go ahead and come up to the right-hand corner of sale, go to limit, and we're going to limit at 41. Now I could add all the digits, that way I get the full amount, but I'm just going to go ahead and sell this at 41 to make it quick for this video. Send the order, it's executed, there it goes, went ahead and sold it. Now you can set a buy limit. The good thing about a buy limit is you can say, say I bought $50 at 30 cent again. So we're going to do 48 cent, I mean, 30 cent, my bad. Well, actually, back up, messed up. You'll do this from time to time. Go ahead and go to market order, limit, price, 30 cent. Always remember that. 30 cent. Then we're going to go ahead and enter $48. That way it gives us a buffer and slide up. And there we have it. I just a purchase order in for a whole bunch more. It looks like I'm going to have about 160. Yeah, it looks about 150, 160. I'll have to check that in a second. But that's a great way to buy cryptocurrency when it goes down low and when it comes up high. 